Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Mr. Ben? I'm pretty good. I think I'm great. <laughs> How about you, Fabiola? I'm very good. Excellent. And yeah, I'm ready for I'm ready class. for today's class. <laughs> Great, that's the attitude. Let me check how many do we have in here. Oh, we are missing quite a lot of people. <laughs> so how are you doing with the platform, everyone? Have you finished? You haven't I finished finish. yet. Ah, uh, Fabiola se le resolvió el problema. Lo que me había preguntado la vez pasada. Eh, sí, lo que hice fue terminar. All right, everyone. So welcome to today's class. It's a pleasure to see you. Let me see how many do we have in here. Uh -huh. I have. Let me see. I have Andrea Sosa. How are you, Andrea? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. How are you, Claudia Maria? Oh, sorry about the noise. If you hear noise outside of my house, I'm sorry about it. Let's see, Claudia, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. It's a pleasure to have you in class, Claudia. Thanks. Let me see, Florence. How are you, Florence? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm very well. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. It's a pleasure to have you in class. Thank you. Let me see, Rafael. How are you, Rafael? Hi, thank you. Are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Good to see you. Let me see. Fatima, Karina, how are you, Fatima? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm pretty good. Thank you. Armando Antonio, how are you, Armando? Hi, teacher. How are you, teacher? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm excited for today's class. Excellent, teacher. Excellent, teacher. Great. Very good. Yeah, today we have new content, and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. I mean, it's going to be useful for you to finish your platform and all those stuff. Let me see. Diane, how are you, Diane? Hi, I'm good, but I have a headache. Oh, God. I'm sorry about that. Take a pill or something, and then after the class, you take a nap. <laughs> or you can go to sleep. Thanks. <laughs> all right. It's good that you're in class, although you are sick. Okay. Noemi, how are you, Noemi? Hi, Miss. I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. How was your day? Um, normally. <laughs> like, I love it, but at the same time, I don't love it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do anything different from other days. Okay, excellent. Very good. Welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Jessica, how are you, Jessica? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Good to see you in class. Crisia, how are you, Crisia? Hi. Uh, I feel kind of sick. Really? Because so I, you look... huh? I, I got the second dose Doses of, uh, of the vaccine. Today. Yes, today. Mm, look at you. <laughs> but at least you're in class. And actually, 
Yes. PR than yesterday. Uh, the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> the vaccine. <laughs> You're right. All right. Very good. Good to see you, Christian. Let me see. Rene Samuel, how are you? Mm -hmm. I'm checking if you are over there. Hi. I'm fine. Excellent, Rene. Welcome to today's class. Yes. Let me see. Jocelyn, how are you, Jocelyn? Hello. I Hello. am fine. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm excited for today's class. All right, everyone. I'm checking and I don't know, but I believe I'm missing pretty, pretty, pretty a lot of people. Mm, okay, let's wait for them to get into the class in the middle of it, at least. All right, let me look for your PPT and I'm going to present it. Oh, there we have. We have Ada, Gabriela. How are you, Ada? Hello, teacher. Fine. Excellent. Very good. Marvin, how are you? Hi, fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone. So let me share my screen with you. All righty. So there you have it. Today is Wednesday, August 11th. 2021, section five, yay! We are just about to finish the course, everyone. Let me see, the topic for section five is tell me about your family, all right? And we are in class number 12. Let's move on. So today we have a new topic, it's present continuous. We're going to learn a lot. And of course, as in every class, we are going to practice a lot, all right? So we have this information about it. Let me see, Fatima. Welcome, Fatima Rivas. Hi. How are you? Very well, thanks. Very good. It's good to see you in class. Can you please read the information? Present continuous. Present continuous is used for action that are happening right now. Exactly, thank you very much. So it's telling us that our actions that are happening right now. For example, Fatima, she's reading right now. Well, she already read, but we can say that she is reading, right? while she was doing it, okay? That's for actions happening in the moment, right now, right? Let me move on. So to learn a little bit about this, we have a conversation, my dear students, all right? So it's your time to practice. Let me check. When is the last class? Uh, Florence, your last class is going to be Tuesday, the next Tuesday from next week, all right? That's going to be your last class of this course, all right? So let Thank me you, see. Teacher. You're welcome for us. There you go. I'm going to need Fabiola, you are Rita, and Fatima Karina, you are Sue. Action. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Oh, and what about your brother? He's a uh, will will defy photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, uh, no, 
My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? She he's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much. Great job. Let me check Fatima Karina. Repeat after me. Government. Government. Three times. Government, government, government. Sisters. Sisters. Hmm? Sisters, sisters, sisters. Excellent. That's the contraction, right? Of verb to be with sister. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next period. Noemi, you're going to be Rita. And your partner is going to be Diane. Diane, you are Sue. Action. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Uh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a well-fought top friend. What an, uh, what an interesting family. Can I meet them? Um, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much. All right, Diane, follow me. Repeat after me. White lies. What? White lies. Mm -hmm. Three times, please. What lies? What lies? Wild lies. Thank you. United. What? United. Mm -hmm. United. United. Excellent, thank you very much. Let's go with <laughs> Rafael, you're going to be Rita. Um, let me look for your peer. Crisia, you're going to be Sue. Tell me about your brother and sisters, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Rita, like Winnie Pooh. Uh, okay. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Well, 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 pretty good. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Now, let's go with somebody else. I'm going to have Cesar and Cesar, you are Rita and Florence, <laughs> you are Sue. Action. Uh, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What kind of interesting, interesting family? Can you meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now let's see, Cesar, repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay, thank you. Let's, let me check. Who else can we find in here? Okay, so. 
Fátima Rivas. You are going to work with Luis Alonso. So Fátima, you are Rita and Luis Alonso, you are Sue. Action. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. Photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much. Excellent. Luis Alonso, repeat after me. Wildlife. Wild life, wild life, wild life. Excellent, very good. Vida salvaje, right? Wild life, excellent. There you go. Let me look for somebody else. Now I see I have more students, that's great. I'm going to have, welcome Karina Jimenez. Thanks. So you're going to be Rita, Karina, and Elvis Abrego, welcome Elvis, you are Sue. Okay. Action. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a will will like photographer, photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Mm, no, my sister anyway, she's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much. Now let's see Elvis. Repeat after me. Wildlife. Wildlife. Wild? Wild. Life. Life. Wild. Wild. Life. Excellent. Very good. Wildlife. Repeat after me. Elvis, uh, my sister's away. My sister away. My sisters. My sister away. Pronuncie la S que aparece al final porque es la contracción del okay. verb to be. My sisters. My sister. Away. Sister away. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Right. You're welcome. Yes, my dear students. This is the contraction of verb to be. Okay, so you do have to pronounce the S. Let me see, who else do I have? Claudia Maria, you are Rita. And Jessica Elizabeth, you are Sue. Action. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I know Sure, she's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? Is a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister as well, she's not working in the only state this month. 
And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much, girls. Now, let me see, Jessica. Repeat after me. Sure. Sure. Three times. Sure. 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 Mm, repeat. Sure. 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 Ex sure. Excellent. Very good. Repeat after me, Jessica. Right now. Where? No. Right? What? Life. No. Right now. Ahora mismo. Right now. Ah, right now. Excellent. Very good. And wild. 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 Look at me. Let me see if I can get you. Wild. Wild. Life. Life. Okay. Thank you. Wild life. Now, everyone, let me see I have another pairing here. Thank you very much, Jessica and Claudia. These conversations are a very important instrument in English learning because the more you practice, the better you'll become, right? So that's why we need to practice a lot of pronunciation. And if you have any doubt about how to pronounce a specific word, let me know. I'm here for helping you. Okay. Let me see, Andrea Sosa. Yes. You're going to work with Walter. Ah, Andrea, you are Rita and Walter, you are Sue. Action. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Well, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting, interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? Just traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now let's see, Andreita, repeat after me. Interesting. 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 Bravo. There you go. Thank you so much. Both of you. Now let's go with Marvin. You haven't practiced, right, Marvin? Let me see. Marvin, you are. Rita or Rita and Ada Gabriela, you are Sue. You may start, please. Okay. Uh, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you very much. Now let's see, Ada, repeat after me. Wild life. Wild life. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Photographer. Photographer. Mm -hmm. Three times, Ada, please. Wildlife photographer. Wildlife photographer. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's Thank go with. Go. Okay. okay, excellent. Let's go with Jocelyn. You're going to work with Mauricio. There you are. So, Jocelyn, you are Rita, and Mauricio, you are Sue. 
Okay. Tell about your brother and sister Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She is working on a very secret program right now. Go, and what about your brother? He is a wildlife pro for for photographer. What is there is there family can I meet them? Oh no. My sister is away. She is not working in the United States this month. And your brother? My brother he is traveling in the Amazon. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see, Mauricio. Repeat after me. Works. Works. Mm -hmm. Works. Uh -huh. Works. Very good. There you go. When we have the S, let's make sure everyone, and this is for everyone, let's make sure to pronounce it. Sometimes it's difficult, right? Because it's like we are reading everything, like real quickly, but you have to pronounce. This is for everyone. You have to pronounce works and also the contraction. Very good, Mauricio and Jocelyn, thank you. Now, the last pair that I do have in here is René Samuel and Heidi Vasquez. So René, you are Rita and Heidi, you are Sue. Okay. Well, me about you, brother and sister, Sue. We, my sister, were born for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on very separate projects right now. Whoa, and what's about you, brother? He's a will like photographer. What's an interesting family? Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in Amazon. Thank you very much, both of you. Let's see, Heidi, repeat after me. Works. Work. Work. Three times. Work. 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 Thank you. Heidi, repeat. Wild life. Wild life. Wild life. Wild life. Thank you very much. Rene, repeat. Das. Como? Das. 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 Mm -hmm. Das. There you go. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. So most of you, well, not all of you, have practiced already with the conversation. We are doing pretty good with the speaking ability, and that's great. Now let's move on. So we have this. You have this in the platform. And it's talking about a family, right? So in the platform, you have to complete an answer. Like you have to create sentences, I think. So. But right now, I just need you to tell me how to form this family tree. Let's see. Andy is the grandfather, right? And who's Marta? Noemi. Marta is the grandmother. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. And what about if Sara is the mother, what is Chris, Mauricio? He's the father. Mm -hmm. Father. Exactly. Very good. And if we're talking about Donna, Donna is the aunt, right? And what about 
Manuel Florence. Manuel is uncle. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. And what about if we're talking about Sam, which of course we're talking about Sam. He's the husband. So what is Yumiko, Fabiola? Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. Thank you. Now, if Jimmy has a brother, what's Lisa, Karina Jimenez? Lisa is sister in law. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Um, but sure. Lisa, uh -huh, here we go, here we go. Uh -huh. Who was asking me? Uh, I, Mauricio. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. Uh, when you fill, when you fill the, the homework mm -hmm. about that, if you put, and you put uh, Lisa, who's Lisa says in the, in the, in the homework, Mm -hmm. Lisa is, uh, and you put in the homework, uh, sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. Sam's is uh, Lisa is Sam's sister-in-law, but uh, the uh, in the homework they put is not correct. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. know. I, I it's bad uh, when I put sister-in-law is it's a. Uh, it's wrong. Uh -huh. It's wrong for the platform. Uh -huh. It's wrong. Uh -huh. it's okay, wrong. now. The platform. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In the platform. I, Let me I check. don't know why. Mm -hmm. Let me check. I had a chest thing here. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes, if you notice, as I told you the first time, you need to read very carefully the instructions. Now, listen, I'm not saying with this that the platform is perfect because. You already, you already know that we make some mistakes sometimes, right? But in this case, most of the time, what's happening is that we are not getting correctly the instructions. For example, you were talking about Lisa, right? Um, Mauricio, do you remember specifically which one? Which uh, number? Yeah. Yes, I will sorry. Let mm -hmm. me let me check. Let me check. Um, wow, I I don't find it. Because there's no there's no one that it's talking specifically about Lisa. For example, number seven says Jimmy and Lisa have two babies. Kelly and Jimmy, Kelly is Sam's. Uh -huh. Kelly uh, is Sam's. A, Kelly, it's a, let me see. Uh, it's a, a, a niece. Mm -hmm, exactly, it's Sam's niece. Uh -huh. And Jimmy is his nephew. Pero no hay yeah. ninguna, eh, Mauricio, that talks specifically about Oh, tell me yes. Wait. Uh -huh. About me okay. Sí, la respuesta es correcta. Es sister en law, pero va con guión. Se escribe guión entre medio de cada una. Sister guión in mm -hmm. guión law. Solo así la acepta. Si usted mm -hmm. escribe solo sister in law, no la acepta. So you're talking about number five, right, Mauricio? Yeah, that yes. one says number five. Who has a brother? Uh -huh, exactly. uh -huh. I, I found it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Sam has a brother, he's married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's, as Fabiola mentioned, sister-in-law. And if you notice in here, actually, sister-in-law uh -huh. has, has the dash in here, all right? So you have to use it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. The, uh, 
a veces la plata, de hecho ahí en las instructions creo que les decía que no pusieran punto en algunas, porque ya lo tenía. A veces por esas mínimas ah, cosas. Okay. Dice no, sister in law with dash. Ah, ok, sister in law. Ok, that's oh, the problem. Sí, uh -huh. very good. Sí, a veces eso es lo que sucede. Quizás estamos haciendo bien el ejercicio, pero si le pusimos punto, nos hizo falta un... Ay, ¿Cómo se dice? Un símbolo nos va a fallar ahí en la plataforma. Por eso es que hay que leer bien las instructions. Very good, everyone. So, thank you so much. Most of you have advanced already in this exercise. Now, let's see. Well, if you have any other question about this specific exercise, remember that you can text me and I will have the answer for you. Well, not the answer, I will help you. All right, let's move on. So we have asked and answered questions using the present continuous. And we have some questions and answers. I will start with, Crisia, can you please read the first question? Yes. Are you living in a home now? Are you living at home now? Thank you. Crisia? Yes. Are What you happened? living at home now? Okay, thank you, Crisia. <laughs> Let me see. We have the answers. Noemi, can you please give me the answers to those to that question? Yes, I am. And no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. There you go. If you start noticing in here, the verb, it's in ING. Let's continue with the following question, Cesar. Question number two. Is your sister working for the government? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Diane, tell me the answers. Yes, she is. No, she is not. No, she isn't. Excellent. There you see, as you can see here, we have also constructions, right? So you can say either no, she's not, or no, she isn't. All right? And that's perfect. Now, if you're making or you are completing the exercises on the platform, remember that you have to read carefully if they are asking you for contractions or simple questions, right? Like long answers. Let's go with question number three. I will have Armando Antonio. Please read question number three. Are Earl and you going to college? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can finish in that in that part. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Rafael, tell me the answer for question number three. Hmm, he's not in class. Maybe his internet failed. Luis Alonso, tell me the answers that we have for question number three, please. Um, are Ed and G going to college this year? <laughs> and thank you so much. Oh, let me see the, the answer for number three. I need the answers. Yes, they yes, are. Answer, teacher. Ah, yes. Okay. okay. Yes, they are. No, they are, no, they are not. Uh, or no, no, they aren't. Very good. Thank you. Farima Rivas. Question number four, please. Where are you working now? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Claudia Maria, the answer, please. I'm not working. I need a job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Florence, question number five, please. What is your brother doing these days? Thank you. René Samuel, 
Give me the answer for question number five, please. Me la señalaría. Yeah, it's this one. His. His. Traveling. Is traveling in the Amazon. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Andrea Sosa, the last question, please. Who are your parents visited this week? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jessica, tell me the answer for the last question that we have. I visiting my grandmother. Thank you very much. All right, everyone. So there you have it. In here, we have two types of questions, right? Always in present continuous. We have the be, the ones that start with be, verb to be, or we have the ones that start with WH words. If you notice, in here, the ones that we have that are with B, they have just no, right? And you can also use contractions. But in here, in the ones with WH words, you only have one answer, okay? There you go. Let's move on. So we have, remember, this is like extra information for you, and you can, Write it down on your notebooks if you want. I will ask um, Cesar, please read the content from the chart. The difference between simple present and present continuous. Simply present. Column. She word. Uh, subject plus verb. Habitual action. Present continuous, column. She is working, subject plus B plus verb plus in. Thank you so much, very good. Now if you know, um, Cesar, repeat after me, between. Between. Three times. Between, between, between. Excellent, very good. Now, if you notice, it's pretty basic, right? For simple present, you just have subject, and we are talking about habitual actions. But when talking about person continuous, the structure we could call it this way, it's a little longer, right? So you have the subject, you have the B plus verb plus ing. And it's talking about actions that are happening right now, okay? You can copy this on your notebook and let me know when you're finished. Thank you, Fabiola. Thank you, Mauricio. Finish. Good. Thank you. Finish. Great, Fatima. Let me see. Let me check if somebody else is coming. 
All right, everyone has finished. Good. So let's move on. We have a structure for yes, no questions in present continuous. Florence, please read the structure. The structure is B plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus question mark. Thank you very much. So there you have it. Don't forget sometimes when, thank you Florence. Sometimes when we are um, making the questions, we forget about the question mark, right? So let's make sure to add it. That's why I added in here as a part of the structure. So if we have B, it means that we can use either R, is, and even sometimes we can use M, right? Then we have the subject. Let me check if we remember subjects. Noemi, tell me the subjects, please. Let's see. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Excellent, very good, there you go. It's good that you remember everything uh, individually, right? Like subject pronouns, possessive adjectives, and all those things, because when you are creating content, when you are creating sentences or questions, you will remember everything, but you won't get confused. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Let's go with the verb in ING. This means that you can use any verb that you want to use according to the action that you are making right now, right? But you have to add ing. That's like legit. You cannot change that structure when talking in present continuous. And then of course you can add your complement if you want, if you want, right? You can add your complement and then you close the question with question mark. Let's practice. Let's see. If you are coming, let me know. If not, I will move on. Okay, let's move. We have the guiding examples. Hmm, Luis Alonso, please read the first guiding example that we have, number one. Uh, is Anna drinking soda? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Andrea Sosa. Read question number two. Are Freddie and Anderson visited their grandmother? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And then we have the last one. Mauricio, can you please read the last one, number three? Am I having a great idea? I'm having or oh, am I? Am I, am I. Excellent. Uh -huh, exactly. That's like you're asking yourself, right? In which you can use a mind. Now, if you want, copy these guiding examples because, of course, then you're going to practice. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, in the uh, sentence two or question two, mm -hmm. uh, is correct. This visiting, visiting, or no, I missed that one. Visiting, no, visiting. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, you, my friend. Si quieren que yo me toque hacer rápido las PPTs. Most of the time, I have like one letter that shouldn't be there. Pero yo la pongo. <laughs> Thank you, Luis. All right, now let's move on. We have the practice. Now is your time to put into practice the content learned. Let me see. Karina Jimenez, can you please read the instructions? Instructions, work individually, create one question using present continuous, share your question with the class, 
Thank you very much. Now, everyone, it's your time. Create your question. Take it easy. Think about it. Think about the action that you want to use, and then you will present. Finish. Great. Diane, thank you. Finish. Finish. Great. Thank you, Andy. Finish. Great. Florence. Who's teacher? Good. Good, good. All right, it's a start. I think most of you have finished by now. Let me see, let's start with... Um, Claudia, Claudia Maria, please tell me your question. Is Luis eating pizza? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's correct. Let's go with Luis. Luis Alonso. If you have it, you can tell me yours, please. Uh, is Carlos singing with your friend? Mm -hmm, very good. Thank you. Excellent. Let's get to Crisia. Are you teaching English right now? Mm -hmm, exactly, very good. Are you teaching English? Excellent. Let's go with Noemi. Is your nephew sleeping in the sofa? <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. These are yours. Is baby playing video games? Mm -hmm. Very good, correct. Fabiola. Is Jose walking on the street? Mm -hmm. Very good. Karina Jimenez. Is she traveling to New York? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Florence. Is she doing her homework alone? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Fatima Rivas. Are they working in the movie theater? Mm -hmm. Very good, very creative. Armando Antonio. Is John having a good night? Can you repeat it again, please? Is John having a good night? Okay, having a good night. Okay. Yeah, if you tell me, is John having a good night? It's correct. Very good. Thank you. 
Let's go with Fatima Karina. Are you working in the supermarket? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And Diane, tell me yours, please. Is Lucia cooking right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Very good. Mauricio, tell me your sentence. Playing the guitar right now. Repeat again, please. Is he playing the guitar right now? Oh, very good. Yes, correct. And let me see. I'm missing Heidi Vasquez. Tell me your sentence. Are you studying English? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jessica Elizabeth, tell me your sentence. She is watching TV now. Is she? Yes. You need the verb to be first, according to the structure. Look, we need the V and then the subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your sentence is correct, but you need to change, okay? You need to move the verb. Very good, Jessica. Thank you. Andrea Sosa. Um, she's reading a book. Is she reading a book? Oh. Uh -huh. Because we are in questions. When you create questions, my friend, remember the structure. You need the verb be first, then you go with subject, and then the verb in ing. All right, that's the correct okay. structure. Okay. Right. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just helping you. Emma. All right. This is my job. Let's see, Rene. Rene Samuel. Yes. Tell me your question, please. Are you paying attention to English class? Mm -hmm. Are you paying attention? English class, excellent, very good. And Adam, Adam Gabriela, please. What is he eating yesterday? Mm, present continuous, it's about actions that are happening right now. Right? So if you it, where is she yes here, here is the here is the thing if you use yesterday you are not telling me that that action is happening right now because yesterday is past right yes 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 <laughs> okay where is she is <laughs> sorry uh for example uh is she eating pizza or something like that? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, I got it. You get it. You have it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everyone. We are doing this practice because I need you, even though if you already know how to use present continuous, we need to practice because when we practice, that's the only way in which we cannot forget, right? So that's why we're practicing. And if you notice, I have asked everyone in the class to pass and tell me their, their questions. So let's see, we have WH question with present continuous. Now, if you noticed, my dear students, before you create a question using B at the beginning, now we have another structure. Let me see, Mauricio, can you please read the structure? Okay. Um, WH plus B plus subject plus verb, I -N -G plus complement. Thank you very much. There you have it. That's another a structure that we have, right? In which we are using present continuous, but 
not only with be, we are adding WH words. Like, um, let me see, Florence, do you remember any H, WH word? Yes, I remember what, mm -hmm. when, which, mm -hmm. where, who, why, and, and very what? good. Only that. <laughs> okay, only those. Excellent. Very good, Florence. Thank you. Now, my dear students, let's keep an eye on this part. If you notice, if you are already in this section on the platform, Maybe you already noticed that in the video, they mentioned that sometimes when it's needed, we can use WH questions. It means WH words, sorry. It means that it's not probable that probably that we're going to use WH words every time, right? It's going to depend most of the time in the context. And as the girl mentioned in the video, it's going to depend also if you need to use it. If you don't need it, of course you want to use it, right? Now for next class, which is going to be tomorrow, your next class, we are going to practice with this and we're going to have more content. Now, listen, we're going to stop the class in here and just as a friendly remind you guys, please complete the platform. You can advance as much as you want. Remember that we are just about to finish the course and good luck for everyone. So I'll see you tomorrow in class. Goodbye. 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 Do you have Goodbye. any questions? Yes, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a problem in another problem with the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, let me check. Uh, uh, in the point, Five, let me see, where, where is that? Uh, 5.11, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, changing family. I think, oh, yeah, here, this, here it is. The changing family, reading the exercise, and, and I feel the, and I feel the, the, I failed the, the, the exercise, no? And you failed I, I the had, exercise. Yes, I had bad I had bad the the first and the four. And the Section number four. five, right? Section five number five point eleven. Five point eleven. Okay, let me get uh -huh. you in there. Mm -hmm. You have wrong which ones do you mention? I have wrong uh, number one. And number four. Mm -hmm. okay. And when you see the when you see the the when you see the article, mm -hmm. for example, the one says, uh, "We children are benefit benefit benefiting benefiting from, uh -huh. Benefiting. Uh -huh, from Judy working uh, for working. my uh -huh, work." I think was was a uh, Emily mm -hmm. or is Emily? I put Emily, but it's wrong. Uh, if you pay other? attention carefully, it says with children. It's talking about yeah. two or more, yeah. not only specifically about one. So yes, it's Emily. Emily, you're totally uh, right. Emily. Emily and Josh. And Josh. Josh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Usted solo había puesto Emily, ¿verdad? Ajá. Emily and Josh. Let me check. Ah, uh, it's right. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's right. Uh, but in, in, the, in the point four, which family members? Ah, which family members? Mm -hmm. Are doing more home. Are doing more more house housework. Uh, housework. I put only sleep. And, and we need to. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, that's the point. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. There you see. 
yeah, yeah. sometimes the thing is that we missed or we just passed the fact that there is more about that you know for example in that case members ya ven oh, por eso les digo que tenemos que pronunciar las s al final de las yeah. palabras now we have to read carefully uh -huh. Ajá, exactly. Yeah, don't worry, Mauricio. Eso nos pasa a todos, de verdad que sí. Pero algo que nos va a ayudar a fijarnos en esas instrucciones es le cuando leemos nosotros agregar la s donde aparece. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good, yeah. everyone. Okay, All right. thank you. Very much. No more questions, Mauricio. No, no more questions. All right, my dear students. Goodbye. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a